Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Ariana, Chief Operating Officer of the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, and I welcome you to the Virtual Humanitarian Awards. Um, so we would we wish that we were with you in person and doing this at one of our World Patient Safety Science and Technology Summits, but we really wanted to have this take place during the middle of the year so that we can acknowledge some amazing work and amazing humanitarians uh, who we have to recognize and who doesn't want a, a little bit of good news these days. So with that said, um, we'll be presenting some awards to these amazing people over the next 30 minutes or so. And I wanna pass it over to our hosts for the day, uh, Dr. Michael Ramsey and Dr. David Mayer. Uh, Dr. Michael Ramsey is our chairman of the board and he's also one of the earliest recipients of a humanitarian award. So he uh, was uh, recognized back in 2016. We also have Dr. David Mayer, who's our chief executive officer, and he was recognized as a humanitarian back in 2016. Uh, so with that said, we welcome you to the program and uh, look forward to being able to celebrate with everyone on the line today and with everyone later on video. So uh, Dave, take us away. Sure, thanks Ariana. And, and first, before we get going, I, I think it's very important to recognize all the past award winners from this very prestigious award. Their pictures are on the screen, but clearly Robin Betts uh, at the time, Vice President, now President Joe Biden was honored, Senator Barbara Boxer, John Carlson, Alicia Cull, Dr. Patrick Conway, Dr. Ann DeWall Grinelli, Senator Tom Harkin, the Honorable Jeremy Hunt, Tom Kalstrom, Tori Lairdahl, Dr. Edwin Lofton, myself, Julie Morath, Anna Noonan, President Barack Obama, Dr. Ramsey, as was noticed before, mentioned before, Anna Marie Cernan, Eileen Whalen, Bill Wilson, Kai Zakharovsky, uh, past award winners. So um, thank you to all of them. Thank you, Dave. And uh, it's going to be a great honor for me to be able to be part of this ceremony to recognize people who've gone way beyond and really made a difference. So this first award is the Stephen Morrow Humanitarian Award for Hospital Administrator, whose zeal for improving patient safety in the hospital is clearly prominent. And if we want safe hospitals, it has to come from the top down. To get a high reliability hospital, it's got to come from the top down. Stephen Moreau was the CEO of St. Joseph's Hospital here in Orange County, California, and a board member of the PSMF. Sadly, Steve passed in 2017 after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. This award was established in his name because he embodied all the qualities of a leader that prioritized patient safety. He did so after realizing that his hospital had room to improve and then truly took ownership of that improvement process with his senior leadership team and board of directors. And so he's led the way. That's the way we have to do it. And the recipient this year is Bob Pelletro at Common Spirit, formerly Dignity Health, has been recognized for her leadership at Common Spirit Health, formerly known as Dignity Health, and now 150 plus hospital system, enormous system. And so change has to come from the top down. Common Spirit has Bob at the helm of the ship, leading patient safety improvement with transparency and candor at the center. Dignity Health has also become a PSMF five-star hospital last year, showing her dedication and commitment to zero preventable deaths. Bob, we want to congratulate you so much and we'd like to invite you to show your award and have a few comments. Thank you, Bob, so much for what you do. Great, thank you very much. Wow, it's really an honor. I, I'm Just to deliver this was huge and heavy, so I'm so appreciative of it and uh, the engraving is beautiful, so thank you very much. I really would like to thank Beth Maru for joining from Singapore. It's an honor to meet you, and I totally um, would love to live up to Steve's vision and his leadership in making a difference at his hospital. 
So I know he was a remarkable leader. I read quite a, quite a bit about him and he's very passionate about the safest to care. So I'm really committed to carrying on his legacy and his passion. I am so appreciative also of our values and our commitment to identifying and eliminating harm at Common Spirit Health and formerly we still are Dignity Health, a house of brands, if you will, as a large organization and really honored to work with Lloyd Dean, our president and Bob Weeb, our chief medical officer and Kathy Sanford with all their support to get to zero harm. And so I have to say zero is like my favorite professional number. Um, it really represents where we need to think and be as a healthcare leader. And one is not okay, because it could be our loved one, could be our neighbor, and it could be somebody we didn't, don't know, but is in our neighborhood. So with that, zero is the right number to strive for. I really appreciate all the work that Patient Safety Movement Foundation has led, both nationally and internationally, because it actually makes my job easier when there's organizations that are committed to zero and have such detailed work lined out and that align with our work. All of your quote unquote toolkits are just so helpful. And again, help us to move forward as an organization. So I like to think that of it with the patient at the very center. So every patient every day deserves the safest care and the highest quality of care in every single one of our hospitals. So I'm also have to say, I'm constantly reminded that this is a journey and I'm most appreciative to be part of the leadership in this journey for our organization as well as nationally. So in summary, we wanna stay the course and again, a sincere thank you to the board and to all the work that you uh, lead nationally and internationally. So thank you. Barbara, thank you so much for those words. That's really inspiring. So I'm going to pass over to David now about the next award, the Bo Biden Humanitarian Award. Um, thanks, Mike. And uh, Barbara, thanks very much. Congratulations. What a well-deserved award. Leadership has been amazing. And we really appreciate everything you've done. Uh, the Bo Biden Humanitarian Award, it's with a heavy heart that we share that we're not going to give a Bo Biden Humanitarian Award this year. This award was named after Joseph Robinette Biden III, known as Bo, who was an American politician, a lawyer, and an officer in the Army Judge Advocates General's Corp. Bo Biden was a close friend of our founder and former chairman Joe Kiani. Bo stood for justice. We established this war to honor someone who has in the last year made a huge impact to improve patient safety on a governmental level. And this year, we did not see that anyone nominated had moved the patient safety needle on a state, national or international level. So we hope that next year we can give out two Bo Biden humanitarian awards to make up for the lack of giving one out this year. So Mike, I'll turn it back to you. Okay, thank you, David. Um, and so now we come to the Michael Serious Humanitarian, Humanitarian Award. And um, I'm not sure, but I believe Justine, his wife may be here um, online. Thank you so much for being here. And this award is in name of your husband, Michael. Uh, it's a newly established this year and named after an extraordinary man who passed away on May 30th, 2020. He was an extraordinary patient advocate whom from a young age had to learn to advocate for himself due to his complicated medical needs. Through his experience as a lifelong patient, he also worked furiously to help promote the importance of person and family engagement. From this year on, we will recognize an individual who in the last year contributed to advanced person and family engagement, public awareness, and public engagement in patient safety. And this year, the award goes to two people, Marty Hattie, Hatley and Vonda Vaden Bates. Marty is being acknowledged as a lifelong leader in patient safety since he served as the executive director of the National Patient Safety Foundation. However, this humanitarian award acknowledges exemplary work in the last 12 months. 
And Marty has served as one of the co-chairs for the March for Patient Safety turned Unite for Safe Care campaign that was first birthed in January 2019. Marty stepped up to this plate and dedicated much of 2019 and 2020 to get the MFPS, the UFSC campaign launched. So Marty, we're really thankful for all your work in that direction, which was hard with the COVID you know, pandemic, but also for what you've done now, now you're on the board of the patient safety movement. So Marty, uh, would you like to say a few words? Sure, Mike, uh, I'd, I'd love to. And thank you, Mike and, and Dave and everyone for this award. Uh, Justine, I also just wanna acknowledge uh, Michael Saris. Uh, Vanda and I had the chance to work with him in 2017 and 2018 as we were developing the patient and family engagement apps and his warmth and his humor. I mean, he just humanized that entire process. And when I think about him, that's what I think of his warmth and his humor and just the way in which he made everybody feel better in a room. I really miss the fact that he walks the earth and I'm so glad that there's a, an award named after him and I'm totally honored to receive it. Um, I also just want to say that I joke in life that when I hit, when I see a fork in the road, I take it. And I took a fork in the road towards patient safety 25 years ago. And it's been a huge growth opportunity for me. There are so many needs and so many opportunities in this space and so many wonderful people uh, that it's just been um, a, a great experience for me. It's made me a better human being to be working with you and, and, um, and this community. Um, it's also just highlighted for me the importance of a systems approach. I mean, that was a huge aha moment for me that we're not going to get safe unless we have that. Um, another highlight was just being welcomed by patients and families, um, people like Vanda and Stephen Margo and Michael, who just, you know, taught me a lot. And um, like I said before, made me a better human being. So thank you very much to just the patients here who, who given me some space in their lives. Uh, uh, with their generosity of spirit. Thank you. And I'm also, you. you're welcome. Ahead. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm done. I just want to say a lot of those needs and opportunities have yet to be accomplished. So onward and upward. Thank great, you. Great words. Thank you, Marty. And similarly, Vonda Vaden Bates, who's been there at the birthing of this concept that we were talking about in January 2019, also stepped up to the plate. Vonda lost her husband, Yogi Raj Charles Bates II due to a preventable venous thromboembolism. Marty and Vonda complimented each other and truly do not believe that the Unite for Safe Care campaign and the Patient Safety Movement Foundation hosted events in September 2020 would have been possible if they had not stepped up to give their time, talent and treasure to advance public awareness of the patient safety while also advocating for person and family engagement along the way. And Vonda has joined the board too and has made really amazing contributions and really helped us. So we're really delighted that Vonda has this award as well. And Vonda, if you'd like to say a few words, please do. Thank you. Um, it, it is a real honor. And Justine, I just want to say to you and your family that um, like Marty, I had the opportunity to sit on a panel with Michael in, I think, 2016 or somewhere around there. And I was so stunned by his inventive spirit and his capacity to take a very, very complex global problem personalize it in such a way that he brought forward solutions, not just for, um, for himself, but for others as well. And, you know, I, I look around the room here and I see Marty with his family and Steve with his, and, um, you know, my husband can't be here physically today because of preventable medical errors, but there's no way that I could do the work that I do on behalf of organizations like Patient Safety Movement Foundation without the support of our loving family. And so I just want to um, give sort of pass along the, the, um, the beautiful award here and the sentiment that comes with it to all of the families who, who really step behind and around and in front of those of us who dedicate our lives to helping make sure that, that safety is there for everyone who, who receives, gives, and supports care. 
And it's a real honor to receive this award today. And I just hope that I can carry Michael's name and his work that he did um, forward in a way that matters for everyone globally. Thanks again. Thank you, Vonda, so much for all that you do. So now, David, back over to you. Thanks, Mike. And uh, Marty, Vonda, huge congratulations. I, I can't think of two people more deserving of this award for your contributions through many, many years and, and continuing on today. I am excited to share that we have established the Judy Burroughs Humanitarian Award to acknowledge an individual whose story of preventable harm or death has made a significant impact on patient safety in the public arena over the last year. It is my honor to give our last humanitarian award for this year to Steve Burroughs, and I also see his wife, lovely wife, Margot, behind him. That's nice to see. Steve and Margot, uh, you know, wrote, directed the award-winning HBO documentary film Bleed Out. Since Bleed Out was released in 2018, over 15 million viewers have watched the film on HBO, continually raising attention of the patient safety crisis and preventable medical harm issues we have in the public domain. Steve and his wife Margo and their family thought they were alone, that medical errors that took their mother Judy's life was a freak accident. Since the film's release, Steve and Margo have been inundated with thousands of Facebook messages and texts and emails from strangers who connected with his mother's story and the life of Judy Burroughs. So Steve and Margo, congratulations. Um, very well deserved. And I turn it over to you, Stephen. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Mayor, Dr. Ramsey, uh, Ariana, the esteemed Patient Safety Movement Foundation, and uh, my fellow honorees here. Uh, this is um, this is beyond humbling for us. Um, this stunning award here that we just received is. Um, the Judy Burroughs Humanitarian Award, it's, um, it's easily one of the best things that's happened in our lives uh, since my mom's coma in 2009. Um, I have so many people to thank. I'm not gonna get to everyone. You know, Bleed Out was basically a 90 minute movie about a 10 year journey where, of, of, of poor care uh, in the early days. But really there were, it's important that we, I share that there were hundreds of doctors and nurses and, and aides and healthcare workers and therapists and technicians that kept my mom alive for 10 years and helped keep our family, you know, uh, keep our family's heads above water. Uh, I, I could not have done it certainly without all my friends and family who kept me sane through all these times. My sister, Beth, my nephew, Benjamin, my mom's only grandson, are they're listening from Singapore right now. Um, I want to thank all my mom's friends who never gave up on my mom and all those years in the nursing home and always treated her with such dignity and respect even as things got very difficult. And uh, of course, all the 100 people that worked on Bleed Out. Um, Bleed Out took place over a 10 year period. We didn't even know we were making a movie for most of it, uh, but really want to uh, thank Creative Chaos and Impact Art and the great uh, HBO documentary films for giving us a chance. It started with a little seven minute sizzle reel that I shot on my iPhone and then became a feature film, which is now uh, one, of the, one of the best things that's happened through this whole mess that our family went through is that the film is being uh, part of teaching curriculum now at universities and medical schools across the country. And my mom was a teacher and to know she's still teaching uh, means so much. And, and I wanna thank the Patient Safety Movement Foundation, uh, our, our deepest gratitude. What a privilege it is to be a part of this organization and be a part of the patient safety family. And what, what an amazing gift you've given my mother in our family, what, what a legacy you've given her to know that every year someone's gonna get this. And somewhere in the universe, my mom is, is beaming. So, you know, we, we accept this incredible honor, especially on behalf of all the voiceless patients and families out there that came before my mom and will unfortunately come after until there is zero preventable harm and zero preventable death. Uh, Patient Safety Moon Foundation, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, Steve um, and Margot. 
um, we, we feel your suffering and, and we're there for you, but great recognition of your film and, and how you've moved our mission at the Patient Safety Movement Foundation forward. So Mike, I'll turn it back to you. Okay, well, thank you, Dave. And I just want to say this is the highlight of the year for the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. This is where we can recognize the heroes that we want to see across the globe. You're the people who've stepped up and made a difference. We want to inspire everybody else to do the same. And hopefully by these awards and the recognition when we have leaders like you, this can inspire other people to step up to the plate and really make a difference for us because that's what we're gonna to have to do to make patient safety a real achievement across the globe. So thank you all for what you do. Thank you for your time here. And uh, thank you all indeed. Thank you. Thank you.